Welcome to Brawlhalla. Throw out. Okay. You, you meme him, bro? I, the thing is, I can't is tell because Faison actually plays Jiro and has played Jiro okay. before in tournament. But he did juke me, hit me with a quick little juke jam. We playing the foul today. Looks like you had it right before. I was say, of all the things to give up, you gonna give up the gauntlets? Like, come on, yeah. <laughs> like right now in this meta? Nah, you crazy for that one. Like Phazon, so <laughs> like, Phazon is the gauntlet guy. He was playing some Kaya earlier on today, and he had mm -hmm. a very close run in versus I'm Llama, who was playing Thatch, and that match went to Game Five last stock, I believe. So we're gonna see. Actually, no, I think I think the last game was kind of bad. Just watched the Val and then kind of chopped them up. But with that said, we're going on to the next game. Pierre versus Faison. And ooh, Pierre actually, the, the skin combo he got, I got to take a I mean, step back. I got to appreciate get that. Yeah, I got to get this up. This is a super nice one right here. The color is looking pristine, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Complimentary out here. Here we go. Oh, hey, okay. this is unfortunate, though. They're not nice. complimenting him, though. No, but wow. he slaps real quick. Those stairs coming out, and he got, I mean, he went down there for it to make sure. He only got the second hit, too, but that's the hit that mattered yeah. on that uh, second stair. And, like, that's the great thing about speed as a stat in combination with dashing off a platform like that. Because your speed is higher, it means your aerial acceleration is higher, and you can drift further with the hitboxes. He caught Pierre with the very tip of the stair and was able to get the KO. But now Faison looking to get more and gets a beautiful conversion into a sidelight recovery on Brawl Haven. The ceiling's already low, and he got that pretty close to the ceiling already. All right, so this is, I mean... You know, I said I wanted to see Pierre get in here, but like, I don't know if it's going to happen with the way that Faze on playing. This boy, I think this is about to be the cleanest three stock I've seen so far. Not even in red yet. Okay. Cool. Going to wait that out for sure. Oh, okay. Okay. That actually, yeah, that's power. I did not expect yeah, this. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> hits. That, that got that thing. <laughs> that axe is hot, man. He put some fire on it, so you best believe it's going to clean you out of the map. And Pierre looking to come alive a little bit, potentially too late already on the last stock. Faden's going to get a neutral light. It's not going to KO, but it can set up the edge guard, and the Sair is going to be it. Faison taking game number one over Pierre. And that's the thing. Faison is considered the best player i'd argue you know some people may say sandstorm but if you ask other top players they'll say the best player off the stage is Faison because he is able to get those edge guards convert those ko opportunities in a blink of an eye and he does not hesitate so we're gonna see we got a legend swap from pierre over to Faye. i don't know if that's the answer but we're gonna find out yeah he's using that speed advantage well too because i mean like he's definitely mixing up what he's doing off stage like it looked like he was going to drift back to stage real quick because he was like, all right, this is taking too long. And then mm -hmm. he just turned around immediately threw out a side air and caught, uh, caught Pierre looking. I fate, though, I do like the Fate. I do like uh, this character a lot, especially in Power Stance. I mean, she's, what is that, eight fourths right now? She's about to go crazy. Yeah, that's a banger right there. <laughs> Better watch out. Got that shotgun on her. Oh, yeah. Definitely keep the thing on her real quick, but we'll see if the, how this works out. No weapon in hand right now, just going unarmed. Nice. Wow, that. Okay, get off. Wow, what a wake Ooh. up. Yeah, Ooh. what a, I mean, what a, like a cleanup off that too. He got the wake up and then he picked it up and got three more hits. So I'm going to give it up on that one, you know, to not go into immediate defensive mode for getting hit. He was like, I think I can turn this around. Did exactly yeah. that. Oh, nice. Gets the end light into the recovery. Goes for the weapon throw. Not too good. Gets the side light hit. That should be it. He didn't get the touch. One more hit, and there it is. A down air. And let me tell you, that down air bounced off the corner of that stage, like at the very, very end. Like, yeah. it, it barely, barely came back for the ricochet. So that's perfect spacing from Pierre to show just how much mastery over his character he has. Definitely like seeing, uh, definitely like seeing that, uh, that plate right there, though, bounce off the edge, you know, get that extra type of, uh, that extra angle on the hitbox. It really worked out in his favor, so, okay. Looking for the, looking for him to go for the dodge over, but instead, no, he gets that recovery for the KO as well. Uh, not too far behind as far as damage goes, and he now has the weapon advantage too, so could turn this into something. Fate though, managed to get that, uh, wow. Get that, um, scythe nice. very, very quickly. Holy! Mm. Mm. It was, it was literally, mm. the, it was the last pixel. It was the last pixel for sure, right there. <laughs> Them stars about to leave, but right before they left, they were like, yeah, just stretch it out real quick, like. Oh, man. <coughs> Woo! You good, I bro? Was, 
Oh, wait. That was just some delicious gameplay, man. Like, the decision-making from Pierre there was immaculate. I have no complaints. That was a perfect punish sequence. And now he's in a very good spot to get a game off of Phazon. I would love to see it, but Phazon is entering back with this sword right now. Okay. Got the, sometimes he, he turns that shotgun into a rifle, bro. That's that's where the see this is where the apex would have really came in. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got both. <laughs> this this what this one needs to start playing fate again. Like, what's going on? Oh, oh no. Okay, no ground pound. Nice. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. I like Plays it. I, I thought he was gonna uh, go for the ground pound, but instead he's like, well, how, how are you gonna get past me? You can't. Break dancing on him. And let me tell you, man, I've break danced for years, and the flare, the move that you do with the down sing. That took yeah. me at least two years to master, so you know he put his time in. <laughs> so that so joint is hard. <laughs> yes. so there's so much power to it because of that, man. <laughs> so, so, I'm upper body our, yeah, I'm getting to our next <laughs> game. I, Faison doesn't need to switch for sure, but he definitely needs to stop getting rolled like that. I mean, that fate. I, like, like, first of all, you got to understand that you're playing against an eight force legend, bro. You got to play a little more cautious because every hit really counts now. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like every hit matters. And on top of that, you're playing a character that can get combos uh, started. You, you get the easy side light side airs with the uh, orb. You get all kind of combos with the scythe off of one read. So it is, uh, you definitely gotta play a little more close to the chest, a little more cautious. You know, really treat really treat that life like it's your life outside the game, you know? Yeah, that's facts. Look both ways before you cross the street, man. <laughs> There's a lot of depth out here. Hold on. Pier hasn't really been able to get much going. Faison kind of tossing him at the beginning of this match. I'm going to see if Pierre is able to retaliate, but he's been getting juggled a little bit. He needs a very clean punish right now. He needs three to four hits, but needs to find the opportunity, and that's a start. It's a side light there. Overextends a little bit, but manages to get that weapon throw. Hold on. Pierre starting to heat up. Nice! Almost gets the KO. Yeah, man, this is definitely looking a little Oh, my... That's unfortunate. Look, that was, <laughs> that was, look, you, he asked if Pierre wanted to come out there and he actually came out. He was like, yeah, I'm coming out here, bro. What's good? Oh man, he is actually doing it up. This is the type of turnaround I want to see though. Like you go for your one character, you realize the character don't work and then oh. you pick a character that does and oh. you start popping off he's like dead. this. You can't make it back, I don't think. One more, no, he saved the recovery, you madman. You saved it the entire time. Okay. This, okay, if that would've hit, that was definitely stock. But Faison literally cannot get a hit. Pierre, look, Pierre is playing like I'm getting into this top eight right now. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, down there again. I had the juke, but did not get the right punish right there. If he would've turned that around, that was, if, honestly, he, he dodged late, so he got lucky that he landed on the, on the stage. Mm -hmm. Was a little bit more off. That would've been a stock right there, but Faison uh, looking kind of tough right now. Okay, finally yeah, gets the get first there. stock. I honestly think he might have been able to do the uh, up four dodge and make it, but I think he was a little shook about how he was going to get hit, so he just went for the four dodge, hoping for the best. Couldn't get it. Phase on. Starting to get some damage here, but I mean, he's already in the red on his second stock. He's got a lot to make up here. Oh, tried it. Try to get, try to John Legend him real quick. Let's get lifted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're just ordinary people, man. Yeah. <laughs> You Ain't nothing ordinary about this gameplay. I'll tell you <laughs> that. That's fact. Hey, you guys are out of this world. Hey, oh, Good stuff. Okay, so, here he's looking good, yeah, man. Nice I lead. Don't... Nice lead. He's impressing me. Let me say, this guy is is cracked out, man. He's doing the most. Oh, look at the way he's moving. Oh, oh, watch yourself up there. Yeah, that's that could have been a KO if he got that second one for sure. Didn't matter what your, what your uh, color was. You definitely were not going to be able to survive another. Okay, I, I don't know what he's about to do with that real quick. But he, <laughs> I had to stop the sentence real quick just to make sure he wasn't about to do something crazy. The okay. sense was killing me. Come on now, Pierre. Wow, nice way to make it back on this stage there. Gets the neutral air, but doesn't have enough time to get the weapons. Got to fight Faison Ooh. a little bit more unarmed. And he just, whoa, whoa, he almost went crazy. I, Faison is... Finally gets the KO. I'd love to see some mind-blowing play right now from Faison because the, the momentum of this game has been all peer all day. Yeah, man. All right. Uh -oh. Faison starting to pick it up, though. I mean, he's doing a decent job weapon starving. This is unfortunate, though. Uh-oh. I think Can't the orb back. really has been showing off uh, today as well. Come out? Uh -oh. oh. 
Oh my gosh, yo, the way Pierre moves, dude. It, it is poetry in motion. Look at that. He <laughs> dribbles the ball real quick. Looking for that layup. Uh -oh. Goes for the bow tie almost. I'd hit him with the this Christmas, bro. <laughs> oh, doesn't there need it, though. Go. Actually finishes him off. Easy pickup with the side light stare. Easy stuff. Now, Pierre, up one. Uh, uh, one one game over phase on right now. This is looking good for him, man. My, I didn't know he was gonna go this crazy on the fate, but like, as I said, phase on gotta play like he's playing against fate. You gotta play like you playing. You gotta play fate like uh -huh. you playing against Taros, basically. Like that. If you put the same respect that you gave Taros, give it to fate, cause she can. She got force. She got combos. She has ways to rack up damage, and all them six hit, uh, hurt. So I don't know, brother. Uh, what we gonna do for this next game is what uh, really matters. Looks like he might. He's gonna stay with the Val. And we're waiting out to see what uh, Pierre's going to pick. Yeah, I must imagine Pierre maybe did like a quick restart or something. Because with the way that Fate was chefing in that game, I, I see no reason to hop off, man. Like, Faison was getting cooked, man. Like, you watching your favorite Gordon Ramsay show. He goes ahead. He pulls up with the knife and fork. He cuts in the middle. And he's like, listen, that is one beautiful medium rare. Like, he was getting <laughs> cooked. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't even close. <laughs> that's only when we went over the phase on table was absolute rubbish. Like, cause that's that's what I feel right right now, man. Phase on having a hard time against this fate, man. This is this is I he, I, I don't know if he needs a switch or if he just need a, a good stage to work for him. But as of right now, man, he is he has not pulled the answers. Got a little closer to the answers though. I will give it up that he got a little closer to the answers this, uh, in that uh, last game. But that first game that that fate came out was a stomp. And that second yeah. game near the end, it was I mean. It got a little close, but I still say that uh, Pierre was mostly in uh, control of that game. So, And I, I can't stress enough Pierre's movement, especially with that orb. He stays so close, like he's about to hug you, and then he hits you with a suplex. You're like, this ain't a hug. This ain't what I thought it was going to be. He just picks you up and carries you over, and Faison's going to have to deal with that force now down a game versus Pierre, and I know Faison was seated to get much further than this, so we're going to see if he's able to do it. Pierre trying to fight his way, finally gets a weapon, Faison in hot pursuit. All right, man. So Faison actually doing well uh, at the beginning of this, though. Like, you see the damage is on his side. He's playing this one a little more cautious, which is what I like to see. Again, you got you to gotta remember that every hit... If he would have went for a gravity cancel, thing, I think that would have hit. And that was for sure the stock. <laughs> I went over to pop. You know, like, no question about it. That move packs a punch. And speaking of punch, Pierre tries to get that unarmed recovery to hit Faison. It's not going to connect. Throws out a blast from the rifle. Charges it enough. It's a rifle now. Does the forbidden move and dies for it. Yeah, you got to keep that one in the back pocket, Yugi. Can't be throwing that <laughs> right. This ain't the time for that. <laughs> it's the it's the not so instant transmission right there, bro. Like, I can see it. Like, I see you coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, hold on. He's having a hard time getting back to the stage, though. Get scooped up. He's on. Uh-oh. Yeah, he is keeping him. Woo. He is holding him down. Nice hold down on. air. Let's turn around. Could be it. Okay, looks like we're both going to make it back to the stage here. Faison going, getting a little scary off stage, but I said he's considered one of the best players off the stage. So if there's anyone I expect to go off and do it, it's him, especially since he has the stock lead. Even if he lost the stock, it would still be worth it. Uh, that, that works. You know, that honestly works every now and then. If you catch someone... uh. And they don't think you're going to do something. Uh, it, it's relatively quick. It is dodgeable, obviously, but it's relatively quick if they were not going to burn the mm -hmm. dodge because they were expecting something else. So, because a lot Either of way, people expect an air. Yeah. Man needs to get it. He needs to get this stock sooner or later. Wow. Oh my. Trying he to go is for shooting. the headshot. <laughs> yeah. Definitely <laughs> trying to go for the headshot there, but just uh, just short of the range. Oh my, he just threw it like 3D lights to go ahead and bait phase on to go high. Got the end light, but didn't get the like Sayer afterward, but still manages to find the KO. But yeah, I mean, that just goes to show you how good Fate Side Sig is, right? Like he's emptying the entire clip here, and phase on really can't do much to punish. It covers so much space. And now Pierre's coming back alive, racking up a lot of damage. The weapon throw for the reset. Phase on manages to mm. fight back. Woo. Faison doing a really good job of always reading when someone's trying to dodge past him, too. They, these turnaround neutral sigs have all been hitting, and it's good that he's getting the turnaround neutral sig because it's hitting in the direction that he was already facing, too. Thus making it possibly uh, easier to KO. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is that. Oh, my God. He just does it. That's the clean cut, man. That lineup never looked better. You know what I'm saying? Freshening my hair, because I just got it cut today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my boy is doing quite well. 
still got the razor only... burn and everything. I mean, really do, man. I, I have one of them old barbers too, so you know they don't get, they be heavy handed with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, back into the match, man. Uh, we are not too far off of finding a stock. That was close. Okay. Pierre needs one more hit. That's the thing. Scythe can struggle to kill. If you can't find the Sigs, you're just looking for a raw Sayer neutral, and that can be tough to find. Bazon mixing up his recovery, manages to get through. He needs to look out for the orb down there. How did he sneak past those hitboxes? Not that one though. Pier manages to bring it down to a one stock scenario. And keep in mind, Pier, if he wins this game, he wins the set. That's it. He's in top eight. He's sitting pretty. It's Faison who needs to bring this game back. Wow. Yeah, but faison has got a little lead here, so it's just he needs to win this game. It's not not so much to need to bring this game back, more so he just needs to not let this game escape him. And he's doing a good job of that. He look at that. Every nice. time Pierre, yeah, Pierre was swinging and a missing. That's what I'm talking about. And that is unfortunate for him. We're going to a game five, and I don't know if he's going to start to doubt his fate pick. Uh, but oh, I forbidden feel, move. <laughs> yeah, the forbidden <laughs> move. That, that might have that might have been a, a tale right there. You know what are we doing here, man? But no, nah, you're right. Like that last stock, Phazon was playing immaculately. His reactions were looking really good too, because there are moments where he would hit Pierre and then he would just chill. You know, he would just wait. So which way are you going to dodge? And then he would react accordingly, get the punish, and that's what ultimately led to the KO that he got at the end there. So if Faison's able to keep his reaction time on that level, it's going to be a tough time for Pierre here. This isn't a set I thought would go to game five, yet here we are. Yeah, man. Here's... He is soul searching right now for what character he want to pick. I'm, I mean, look, the fate's not bad. I think you just realize you gotta understand now that you're literally getting baited into everything. Like earlier on, Phazon was running into like pretty much everything. So yeah, he was getting a, uh, he was getting all of his, uh, his combos, his damage. You know, the big hits are all working. He was getting great, uh, he was getting great edge guards. But now Phazon is playing, he's playing a little farther back. Like he's playing like, all right, I understand that like I've been running into a lot. Let me start baiting it, to make you swing first, and then I'm gonna punish accordingly. Yeah, and I mean, this is this is Pierre who, like, I don't even know if Pierre ever got a 144 hertz monitor. Like, I, may, maybe he did. Maybe he finally got because as far as I know, I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're the dude who goes to, like, the, the gaming cafe to play tournaments, unless I'm remembering wrong. So, like, this dude, I don't even know if he's doing this on his own equipment. Like, he's just that good, you know what I mean? He's like, oh, man, it's a Brawlhalla Hall tournament today. I'm going to pull up and do the best that I can, and we're going to see if it's good enough to make top eight winner side here as we hop into game five, Pierre versus Faison. Yeah, man, they are definitely coming out the, the gate swinging, though. Decent damage happening on both sides. A little more of a damage, uh, a more of a eight damage done to Phazon right now. And now you can see, like, look at look at the fact, look at the way that Faith is, uh, or uh, Pierce playing. He's, you know, kind of picking and choosing his spots better. Tries to go for a punish there, but instead just takes a, uh, a weapon toss. So not too much damage being given. Nice. nice. Somehow he beat out that neutral air with his own. Oh, and okay, not goes. the bow. Yeah, tries to transmute him real quick. Not going to work out. Pierre looking to see if he can get a side light there. Won't quite KO. And Ensig definitely will, though. We'll see if he tries to get that. But first, face one has to hop in the air. And he's staying grounded right now. Oh, my gosh. Right. That dribble. Oh, that dribble is so good. Can bait out spot dodges. Oh. Not enough. Another one, maybe? No. Okay, nice. Very nice <laughs> dodge from both of them. Like, first the dodge to get the down air. But he tried to follow up on it. Ends up getting punished because a great dodge there from Fate. Uh, and Pierre now with a little bit of a lead. See if he can hold this. Gonna go for a little weapon star of action. Oh, keep him in the corner. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. You know, trying to hold that stage control. Trying to see if he can bait Phase on to do something. Phase on fights out with an unarmed end light and is trying to see if he's trying to shark Pierre right now. If he gets a D light or uh, just a raw recovery, it should be enough to KO. Pierre trying to bait that out. See if he can get punches of his own. Well, he just fist the cuff, man. Yeah, I mean, like, he threw, he, that was what he needed to do, though. He needed a little space. Now they actually just throwing hands. He said, you know what? Forget these weapons. Let's go. It's <laughs> a so pull up. Meet me at Ashmont. It's time. Here we go, Pierre. There we go. Nice falling stair. Looking for a little bit more damage. Still living. Pierre playing this stock perfectly right now as far as being able to keep this for as long as possible. And he's got a decent amount of damage. Still not losing that stock yet, either. Got a decent amount of damage. Going for the double tap. Ah, a little, a little obvious on the recovery there. Uh, but yeah, go, try to go for the double tap down air. Faison just waited it out. Got put Pierre, uh, and put some pressure on Pierre who had to make a rapid decision going for that recovery and then he just punished that accordingly. Here we go. Nice. 
four piece string there from Phazon getting a good amount of damage. He's bringing back the deficit really quickly here. Pierre needs to cement himself in the second stock because he's not able to hit Phazon. That's like, I think Phazon's hit him eight times, almost eight times, not, I, Pierre, you need to get those hits in, buddy, because it's, it's not looking good right now. Ooh. Hey, getting back up. He gets chopped up right there, unfortunately. Pierre. Nice. The down air. What a call out right there from Phazon. He called his down air. He's like, oh, I know you're going to try to go back to the uh, stage real quick. And then he called it immediately. Pierre, not getting the stock off that, unfortunately. But should be able to set it nice. up. Oh, no, he does get the stock. Okay. Sends him far, far away. Okay, this is it. If you're Pierre here, you need to reset. A little bit because that last stock was all phase on that's how this became a close game phase on got so many unanswered hits in a row that pier ended up just taking so much damage but now it looks like he's reset himself in neutral he's mixing up his options a little bit better and phase on's having a tougher time hitting him phase on's doing a really good job of calling some of these out though man like the way he's going for these drifting uh ground pounds he's real close to getting that one oh, oh that, that was a reset oh my god uh, Oh, okay. Okay, this game is starting to escape phase on, but he's not out of it just yet. Potentially get back into this game. Oh, unfortunately, though, I do not think he has too many options to get and back to stage. Oh. He dropped the combo! He dropped the combo! That could be the be. reason why Pierre loses this match. If he does, that was a guaranteed combo there. Phase on, gonna fight his way back into this match. Tooth and nail. Pierre gets another Sarah, throws the weapon, can't get the final blow. Phase on, still barely hanging on. Uh oh. Here, man, you gotta you gotta play this one close to the chest. I mean, I understand that you're only one hit away, but that doesn't mean that Phazon can't string a couple things together. Get the weapon toss. Doesn't do anything else off of that though. Oh my Here we god. Go. Oh, there oh. it is. Here does it. Oh, Phazon did god. have to, he had to do something, man. He had to go for it and he jumped up there trying to get that neutral air, but no, only gets to the receiving side of a stair. That means Pierre is in the top eight winner side.